Hey guys, so um, I got an order in from Intel Creations here. I actually had a, I jumped on um, for that demo, man. I never have any luck getting those um, Intel Creations exclusives. They're always gone, but for some reason, this was still available when I jumped online. So I thought, well, and I'll give it a crack. So um, I grabbed three of them, one for a mate, and I'll probably have a spare. And while I was there, I thought, yeah, um, had a couple of Carter figures. I don't know why I'm collecting the Origins. I love those bloody figures. I don't collect anything more than Anyway, I don't want to um, get sidetracked here. So I ordered a couple of mocks as well, because it was 30 bucks cap shipping US. It used to be 15, I think, through them. So they've doubled their cap shipping price. But I thought, why not make it worthwhile? So uh, I thought I'd open this box out, because it's coming in. It's a monster box. It's got three of those demo mans in boxes and to mock, so unless that's got a sick amount of padding and it does seem a little bit loosey-goosey, I just want to show you guys what, um, how, you know, a real mass, mass um, toy producer ships collectibles. Obviously, Mattel Creations are aimed at collectors. They have all these exclusives and stuff. and So it's not for kids. It's not toys to play with. Um, it's aimed at collectors, so they should, you know, box and ship appropriately, I believe. You want to pay premium for this stuff. You want to start to bloody 3 a.m. if you're in Australia or wherever the hell it is to order their toys. But I've got a feeling this is not going to be a good packaging job. And yeah, I can tell you straight up, it's absolutely hopeless. So um, this is useless. Mattel creation. So look, it's a massive monster box. They've just thrown in three of those demo mans. There's two mocks you can see in there. Just thrown in with a little bit of air pocket. So you can see there's about five to six inches across the top with nothing and they're just, they're just flapping around in there. So let's have a look at this. So look, that's my, I just bought these for me. Oh, one for me, one for a mate. I wasn't going to open them, but well, what is that? That's, that's not a, um, you know, a card collector's not keeping that. And what is it? It cost me more than retail here. Like I think they're not paying about close to 35 bucks or something for a figure. I know they've come out here, I missed the boat. This is bloody impossible to get in stores here. And then the other one's mounted too, not as bad, but Pretty crap, man. These cost me, you know, like I said, 35 Oz Aussie, roughly whatever it is. Useless, man. Some of my mates not gonna want that. I'm gonna get stuck with two of these. I mean, I'm happy to open one, but I shouldn't have to. I should be able to, it's ridiculous. And then let's have a quick look at the, the demo, man. Yeah, man, that one looks all right. Like I said I got three, so I'll have a spare for sale. I think it cost me about 50 bucks or something um, shipped. Give or take. Well, at least three came all right, but these are also got Carter figures inside of them, obviously, and they're sealed, so they've been rattling around, just going from the States to Australia. And look at that, like, massive box. I'm gonna tilt the camera in a second, I'm just showing a comparison of the actual box versus what's in it. It's quite ridiculous, but, that can set pathetic. The box is three times the size required. And it, uh, I get that, you know, they don't want to manufacture every single size box. I've heard that story before. But then come on, man, get yourself some bubble wrap and don't just throw in bloody six or seven air pockets. That's complete BS. So uh, I'll be contacting Mattel Creations um, to try and get some kind of refund. I don't know how it works. Um, we have a return. I'm not paying return shipping, but. That's pathetic, I'm sorry. Um, I wouldn't send a Carter figure like that to my worst enemy, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you bought from me before, you know how, how, um, how I package them. So everything's so delicately, a ridiculous amount of packaging material. Um, I generally sell vintage stories, these are modern. But still, you don't send figures like that and just destroy them. It's quite ridiculous. And yeah, so that's my little Mattel Creations rant. Um, I reckon that's pretty pathetic and saying they're aimed at collectors. I have ordered from them before and it was okay. I got an Eternia. Um, I actually got two Eternias. I kept one, so one on. Um, they were just hitting the shipping boxes. No, the shipper boxes weren't um, reboxed or anything or any packaging material. They came okay. They had a few scuffs on the boxes. Um, I've got mine stashed away because I'm going to keep that and put it on display one day. I don't know when when maybe I get rid of a couple of kids and I've got room in my house for that place that it takes up time room. But um, again, I get sidetracked. So I ordered that one from them. And then in the past, I've also ordered just, um, I think I ordered Night Stalker. Night, yeah, Night Stalker, because that didn't sell out as well. I got a couple of them and that came okay as well. But this is pathetic. So, I don't know, it's useless. You want, to, you want to target collectors with your products, but then treat them like absolute crap, man. That one's even ripped.
I just got a rip there. That's useless. I was going to buy some more mocks just for because I had a couple, quite a few. I'm actually glad I didn't because they all would have been destroyed. I've actually got a beast man on pre-order. They haven't even come yet. Um, so pretty useless. Anyway, that's my Mattel Creations experience. Um, they got you over barrel because that's the only place you can get it. If you want these, it's exclusives. You can buy it from them. Wake up at bloody three in the morning, buy it from them, or go on eBay or wherever and pay double the price from you know the resale market, the second hand. Uh, second market, you know, which is, it is what it is. It's many call it scalping, people making money. That's that's the way it goes, unfortunately. But yeah, it's just pretty crap. And like I said, um, you can't even get these, in, they can't even stock these properly in stores. And then when you have to go buy them directly from them, you get shot. So it's pretty average. Sorry, Mattel Creations, but that's a massive thumbs down for me. Um, You want to aim your toys at collectors, maybe treat them like adults and respect of what they're paying pretty good dollars for. So yeah, that's me. Um, I'm really, really passionate about packaging and sending stuff safely and these guys fail the test hard. Even it's modern stuff and they just treat it like junk. I mean, even if you're giving this to a kid for their birthday, you wouldn't have bloody give them a mongrel mock like that, would you? Like you want it to look nice so you didn't bloody pick it up from the, the scrap heap, the clearance for the section, you know? Pretty poor. Anyway, um, yeah, pathetic. Unfortunately, I probably will buy from them again, but also fortunately, I'm not gonna wake up three in the morning and buy those stupid bloody um, exclusives. So I may not buy from them again, but that's me. Um, I'll be contacting them, that's useless. That's how I roll. Keep watching my videos if you like it. If not, I don't care. I'm just doing for a laugh and just for a little bit of um, education and I'll say how it is. Thanks guys.